Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about over voltage protection circuit design in, in LT spice. We will also understand the behavior of this circuit, how this circuit works, and then later we will understand how will you simulate uh, this circuit in LT spice. Okay. So many many a times in your design you need over voltage protection circuit to save your load or any other external circuit in that case you need to design a over voltage protection circuit so friends please join the channel membership uh, by clicking on the join button here you can see and once you click on the join button you see the different uh, perks here you can join the premium membership once you click on the premium membership it will it will ask you to join this channel click on the join now let us come back and understand how this circuit works okay so you can see here uh, this is the voltage source and in the voltage source what i have done here is i have taken the pwl okay so the time at time t equals to zero second it is 0 volt at time t, t equals to 100 millisecond it will rise to 15 millivolt that is how i have defined the voltage source v1 now you can see we have two pnp transistor connected in the this fashion and i have by i have connected r1 and r2 here and this is your jenner jenner diode okay d1 is jenner diode and the breakdown voltage for this Jenner diode is 12 volt okay and you can see the emitter of this pnp is connected directly to the power rail and the collector of this pnp is connected to the to the base of this another pnp transistor q1 and it goes to the 4.7 then we have then we have a uh, load here let us say 10k i have connected for this simulation so let us now understand how this circuit works how it is protecting to your load or how it is protecting to your external circuit so let us understand this so let us say for for v equals to so be careful guys i request you to understand properly now what i am saying right now okay so for v1 equals to 0 to 12 volt let me repeat again for v1 equals to 0 to 12 volt 0 to less than 12 volt less than the breakdown voltage of your jenner diode so this jenner diode will not conduct d1 will not conduct for v1 is less than the breakdown voltage of this jenner diode d1 this this jenner will not conduct in this case this q2 transistor will not conduct and only this q1 transistor will conduct and whatever voltage you are giving at your input are at v1 the same voltage you will be getting at output okay so let us say if 0 volt you are getting giving here you will get 0 volt if you are giving here 5 volt you will get 5 volt if you are giving here 10 volt you will get 10 volt so unless and until your voltage below the breakdown voltage of this jenner diode d1 your output follow your input signal okay your output will remain as your input signal okay so this is the first condition and let me talk about the second condition okay now let us say your v1 is increased to 12 volt and it is going even for this case i have considered you can see the maximum value of v1 is 15 volt so once once this v1 increased v1 is greater than this time the breakdown voltage of this jenner diode d1 what happens is this q2 transistor conducts once this q2 transistor conducts you will see your same supply voltage will appear at this point of time and your uh, once your q2 is start conducting your q1 will stop conducting okay since you will have your same potential at emitter of q1 and the same potential of emitter of q q2 so i'll show you in the simulation guys once this q1 stop conducting there is a no voltage at output hope guys you are following me let me repeat again how 
uh, for those two cases and how what is behavior of the q1 diode uh, q1 transistor and q2 transistor so for case one if v1 is less than 12 volt in that case your q2 will be off and only your q1 will be on and whatever you are voltage whatever is your input voltage the same voltage you will get at output so this is the case one once you your input reaches to 12 volt or greater than 12 volt what happens is in this point of time your q2 transistor pnp transistor will conduct and your q1 transistor will not conduct in this case your v out your output voltage is zero volt so this is the two case you need to understand guys now let me run the simulation and let me show you how this circuit works right so just go at this run button okay go at simulate edit simulation command and for the moment i have considered the stop time is 100 millisecond let me run the simulation straight away and let me show you go at window tile window vertically tile window vertically and you see here the circuit and low so let me show you first input signal how your input signal is so you can see your input signal is rising from 0 volt to 15 volt over the period of 100 millisecond now let me show you the output signal in the same window so what i'll do is i'll click on here this point and you can see and now you can see this is the v out if you want to label the net you can label is v or v o for this and you can label this v in for this okay so it would be easier for you you can label this v i okay let me run the simulation again okay so this is your v i and this is your v in okay so this is your v i this is your v in right so what you are seeing is your input is rising from 0 volt to 15 volt and at this juncture uh, try to understand guys what i mean to say here in the simulation at this juncture you can see the voltage is 12.5 around and you can see your output signal is this in blue is coming down to zero so guys you can see here your input voltage is 15 volt maximum and you can see there is a no output voltage that means this circuit is working as a, as a over voltage protection circuit right over voltage protection circuit right it is not giving output more than 12 volt so whatever value you want here you can tweak you can play with the general breakdown voltage and you can get the output here as, as per your design requirement so hope guys you have understood how the over voltage protection circuit protection circuit works if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video